Hello there, welcome to another special edition of African Football Archives and today we are looking at Ghana's greatest footballers of all time. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Although Ghana did not qualify for the World Cup Finals until 2006, they have always been a major African football powerhouse for many decades. They won the African Cup of Nations four times in 1963, 1965, 1978 and 1982 and have been runners-up five more times in 1968, 1970, 1992, 2010 and 2015. Before the World Cup Finals in 2006, they were best remembered for winning the 1991 and the 1995 Under-17 World Cups. In 1992, with the 1991 Under-17 squad as the backbone of the team, they went on to win a bronze medal at the 1992 Olympics. Meanwhile, Abedi Pele and Tony Oboa were staring in Europe exactly at the same time. Consequently, there were high expectations for Ghana to qualify for the 1994 World Cup Finals. However, the Black Stars failed to qualify for the World Cup Finals in 1994. In 2010, they made a sensational run to the World Cup quarterfinals in South Africa before being stopped by a controversial action by Luis Suarez and then losing on penalties. Having said that, let's look at the list of Ghana's greatest footballers of all time. Let's kick things off with Robert Mensah. Robert Mensah played for Asante Kotoko SC and won the African Club Cup in 1970. He also played for Mysterious Dwarfs, Secondi Independence Club and Tema Textile Printing. He was also a runner-up with Ghana at the 1968 and 1970 African Cup of Nations. He represented Ghana at the 1968 Olympics in Mexico City. Robert Mensah was a controversial figure. He would sometimes mock the opposition players by reading a newspaper while he's goaltending. He was murdered by a fan in 1971. At the time of his death, he had 38 caps for Ghana. Next on the list is Richard Kingston. Richard Kingston was a starting goalkeeper for Ghana at the World Cup in 2010 where Ghana reached the quarterfinals. He also played in the 2006 World Cup, the 2008 and the 2010 African Cup of Nations. He was voted as an all-star goalkeeper during the 2008 African Cup of Nations, which was held in Ghana. For club football, he played for several clubs in Turkey, mainly Galatasaray, Sakaryaspor, and Elazigispor. For Hammarby in Sweden and in England for Birmingham City, Wigan Athletic, and Blackpool, who released him at the end of 2010-2011 season. He winded up his career with Dr. Katokopias in Cyprus and Balikesi Rispo in Turkey. He had 90 caps and one goal for Ghana. Next on the list is Joe Carr. Joe Carr was nicknamed Black Cat. He represented Ghana in four African Cup of Nations finals in 1978, 1980, 1982 and 1984, winning both the 1978 and the 1982 editions. He was also once Ghana's most kept player at the African Cup of Nations finals with seven appearances. For domestic football, Joe Carr played for Sekonti Hasakas FC and Asante Kotoko in Ghana. Next on the list is John Pansil. He played club football for Pericum Arsenal, Libert Professionals, in Israel for Maccabi Tel Aviv and Harper Tel Aviv, in England for West Ham United, Fulham and Leicester City and in South Africa for Santos and Marisbeck United. He featured at the 2002, 2004, 2006, 2008 and 2013 African Cup of Nations Finals. John Pansil also played at the 2006 and the 2010 World Cup Finals. He had 89 caps for Ghana. Next on the list is Samuel Kufo. Samuel Kufo is probably Ghana's most famous defender. He became the youngest ever Olympic football champion of all time when he collected a bronze medal at the 1992 Olympics with Ghana. At that time, he was 15 years old. He was twice a runner-up for the African Player of the Year and won the Ghana Player of the Year in 1998, 1999 and 2001. He played at five successive African Cup of Nations finals for Ghana in 1996, 1998 2000, 2002, and 2006. He also played at the 2006 World Cup Finals. At club level, he spent 11 seasons with Bayern Munich, winning almost every trophy available. He won the UEFA Champions League in 2001. He also scored the winning goal in the 2001 Intercontinental Cup. He also played for FC Nuremberg, Roma, Livorno, and Ajax Amsterdam. He has 59 caps and 3 goals for Ghana. 
Next on the list is Karim Abdul Razak. Karim Abdul Razak is one of Ghana's greatest footballers of all time. In 1978, he won the African Cup of Nations and then became the African Player of the Year. He was voted as one of CAF's 30 best footballers in the previous 50 years in 2007. He played for several clubs in the 1970s and 1980s, notably the local club Asante Kotoko, New York Cosmos in the now defunct North American Soccer League, our Ayn in the United Arab Emirates, Arab contractors in Egypt and Africa sports the Abidjan in Cote d'Ivoire. He had 75 caps and 25 goals for Ghana. Next on the list is Steven Apia. Steven Apia was one of the most important Ghanaian players of his generation. He was part of the 1995 World Cup Under-17 winning team that put Ghana on the world map. He played at the 2000 and the 2006 African Cup of Nations finals. He captained Ghana at the World Cup Finals in 2006 and also led Ghana to the 2010 World Cup Finals. He started his career at Hearts of Oak in Ghana. He then spent 10 seasons playing in Italy for Udinese, Parma, Brescia, Juventus, Bologna and Cesena. He also played in Turkey for Fenerbahce and also in Serbia for Vojvodina. He had 64 caps and 14 goals for Ghana. Next on the list is Baba Yara. Baba Yara was a legendary player in West Africa and was known as the King of Wingers of West Africa. He was Ghana's Player of the Year twice. He won the African Cup of Nations with Ghana in 1963. For domestic football, he played for Asante Kotoko and Real Republicans in Ghana. He scored 49 times in 51 caps for Ghana. However, his career was cut short by a car accident. He died in 1969. The largest stadium in Ghana was named after him. Next on the list is Ibrahim Sande. Ibrahim Sande was the first Ghanaian to win the African Player of the Year award when he won it in 1971. He also won the African Cup of Champions with Asante Kotoko in 1971. He then moved to Werder Bremen in 1975 but barely played over there. However, he is still the first African player to play in the Bundesliga. He also played for VSK Osterholz's comeback in Germany. He had 20 caps and 8 goals for Ghana. Next on the list is Mohamed Ahmed Polo. Popularly known as the dribbling machine, Ahmed Polo is arguably the most technically gifted Ghanaian player ever. Ahmed Polo made his national team debut at the age of 17. He won the 1978 African Cup of Nations held in Ghana as a member of the national team. He was a left winger and played mainly for Hearts of Oak in the Ghanaian Premier League. He was a member of the team known as the Fearsome Five, along with Mama Aqua, Anna Seidu, Peter Lamti, and Robert Hammond, which made the backbone of the Hearts of Oak team. He also played in the United Arab Emirates for Awasu in the 1980s. He had 54 caps and 20 goals for Ghana. Next on the list is Andre Ayu. Andre Ayu is the son of Abedi Pele. He began his career in Ghana playing for Nania. In 2005, he signed for his father's former club, Olympic Marseille. He made over 200 appearances, winning consecutive Trophy de Champion and Coupe de la Ligue in both 2010 and 2011. He also played for Swansea and West Ham in England and Fenerbahce in Turkey. He currently plays for Al Saad in Qatar. In 2011, he was named the BBC African Player of the Year and the Ghana Footballer of the Year. He represented Ghana at the World Cup Finals in 2010 and 2014 as well as the 2008, 2010, 2012, 2015, 2017, 2019 and 2021 African Cup of Nations Finals. He has 107 appearances and 23 goals for Ghana. Next on the list is Osei Kofi. Osei Kofi was nicknamed the Wizard Dribbler because of his four dribbling skills. He won the 1963 and the 1965 African Cup of Nations. He was the top scorer of the 1965 African Cup of Nations. He was also the third highest scorer at the 1968 African Cup of Nations. He played for Asante Kotoko in Ghana. Osei apparently turned down a financial incentive to play in Europe. He had 34 caps and 17 goals for Ghana. Next on the list is John Menza. John Menza was kept 86 times and scored 3 goals for Ghana between 2001 and 2012. 
He played in two World Cup finals in 2006 and 2010. He also played at the 2002, 2004, 2008 and the 2012 African Cup of Nations finals. At club level, he started his junior football with Bologna in Italy. He played professionally in England for Sunderland, in Italy for Bellinzona, Kiev and Genoa, and in France for Rennes and Lyon. He also played for Asante Kotoko in Ghana. He was Ghana's player of the year in 2006. Next on the list is Kuhu Kudadzi. Kuhu Kudadzi was a star defender for Sekundi Hasakas and Kumasi Asante Kotoko. He was a member of the Black Stars that won the African Cup of Nations for Kips in 1978. He also captained the national team to the African Cup of Nations in Nigeria in 1980 and the squad which qualified for the Moscow Olympic Games in the same year. Next on the list is Charles Ado Odamete. Charles Ado Odamete won two African Cup of Nations in 1963 and 1965. He shares the record for the most appearances in a final of the African Cup of Nations, having played for the winning team in 1963 and 1965 as captain and in the 1968 final. He played for Ghana at the Olympic Games of 1964 and 1968. He played for Hearts of Oak in Ghana. Next on the list is Kwadu Asamoa. Kwadu Asamoa was named Ghana Player of the Year twice consecutively in 2012 and 2013. He is a youth product of Torino in Italy but started his career with Udinese in 2008 and later moved to Juventus in 2012. He made it to the Serie A Team of the Year in 2014. In 2018, he joined Inter Milan. He then joined Cagliari in 2021. Since 2008, he has been a regular member of the Ghanaian national team. He played at the World Cup Finals in 2010 and 2014. He also played at the 2008, 2010, 2012, 2013 and 2019 African Cup of Nations Finals. He has 74 caps and 4 goals for Ghana. Next on the list is Suli Muntari. Suli Muntari spent much of his career playing in England and Italy. While playing for Inter Milan, he won the UEFA Champions League title in 2009-10 season under Jose Mourinho and two Serie A titles. He also played for Udinese, Sunderland, AC Milan, Portsmouth, Al Itihad, Pescara, Deportivo La Coruna and currently plays for Hearts of Oak in Ghana. He was also part of the Portsmouth team that won the FA Cup in the 2007-8 season. He has played in three World Cup Finals in 2006, 2010 and 2014. He also played at the 2008, 2010 and 2012 African Cup of Nations Finals. He has 84 caps and 20 goals for Ghana. Next on the list is Michael Essien. Michael Essien was one of the best central midfielders in the world during his prime. He started his career at Bastia. He then first became a star while playing for Lyon. He then moved to Chelsea. Over there he won the UEFA Champions League, two Premier League titles and four FA Cups. He also played for Real Madrid, AC Milan, Panathinaikos, Persib Bandang in Indonesia and Sabeo in Azerbaijan. Asian earned 58 caps and scored 9 goals for Ghana. He represented Ghana at three African Cup of Nations in 2002, 2008 and 2010. Michael Essien has also represented Ghana at the 2006 and 2014 World Cups. Next on the list is Abedi Pele Ayu. Abedi Pele is one of the greatest African players of all time. He is best remembered for his time with Olympic Marseille where he won the first ever UEFA Champions League title for a French club. He played for many clubs, notably Lille, Lyon, Torino, 1860 Munich and Al Ain. He was African Player of the Year for three straight years between 1991 and 1993. He was voted third as the African Player of the Century. He had 73 caps and 19 goals for Ghana. He was a member of the team that won the African Cup of Nations in 1982. He also played at the 1992 and the 1996 African Cup of Nations Finals. He was at one point the country's all-time leading top scorer. Next on the list is Wilbur Fosumfum. 
One of Ghana's most underrated players of all time, Wuba Fosimfum was a marvel every time he stepped onto the pitch to play for his club and country. His senior debut came on 10th September 1961 while the attacker was still in the academy of the Ghanaian giants Asante Kotoko. He was 23 years old at the time. Immediately he became a regular within the Black Star set up. He represented Ghana at the 1963 African Cup of Nations as well as the 1964 Olympic Games. He also played at the 1968 African Cup of Nations where, Ghana's, where Ghana were runners-up. At club level, he played for Asante Kotoko, Baltimore Bays, Ukrainian SC, Ukrainian Nationals and New York Cosmos all in the USA. He had 26 caps and 20 goals for Ghana. Next on the list is Samuel Opokun T. Known as Zico, Opokun T was Ghana's top player before Abedi Pele. He won the African Cup of Nations in 1982. He also played at the 1984 and the 1992 African Cup of Nations finals. He had a brief spell in Switzerland with Sevet, Arau, Baden and Glarus. Opokun T scored the match-winning goal that helped Asante Kotoko to win the 1983 Africa Club Championship. He came second as the African Player of the Year in 1983. He has 45 caps and 12 goals for Ghana. Next on the list is George Al Hassan. He won the African Cup of Nations at home soil in 1978. In 1982, he helped Ghana to regain the title successfully, being the top scorer of the tournament with four goals. He also played in the 1984 African Cup of Nations finals. At club level, Al Hassan played for Great Olympics, FC 105 in Gabon, Hande Horangi in South Korea, and Bechum Sports. He had 17 caps and 7 goals for Ghana. Next on the list is Asamoa Gyan. Asamoa Gyan is Ghana's all-time leading goal scorer with 51 goals. He played in three World Cup finals in 2006, 2010 and 2014. With six goals at the World Cup finals, he is the top African goal scorer in the history of the World Cup. Gyan has represented Ghana at six African Cup of Nations finals in 2008, 2010, 2012, 2013, 2015 and 2017. In 2010, he reached the quarter-finals of the World Cup in South Africa with Ghana. Gian played his club football for numerous clubs, notably Udinese, Rennes, Sunderland, Ao Ain and Shanghai SIPG. He has 109 caps for Ghana. Next on the list is Anthony Yeboah. Anthony Yeboah enjoyed a successful career in Europe and was one of the best African players in the 1990s. His most successful period was spent with Eintracht Frankfurt where he was the Bundesliga's back-to-back -back top scorer in 1993 and 1994. He also played for Leeds United, Hamburg SV and Out Etihad. He earned 59 caps and scored 29 goals for Ghana. He also played at the 1992, 1994 and, and 1996 African Cup of Nations finals. He's the third highest goal scorer in the nation's history behind Abedi Pele and Asamoa Gyan. This has been a list of Ghana's greatest footballers of all time, but before we finish, here are some honorable mentions. Anu Kofi John Barker Owusu Menza, Kevin Prince Boateng, Kwasi Owusu, Hisi Odamten, Joe Odoi, John Eshun, Dogo Morrow, John Getia Yoson. Edward Agifin, Cecil Jones Atakwefio, Malik Jabir, Albert Asase, Adolf Ama, and Sami Ajay. This has been Ghana's greatest footballers of all time. If there are any great players that you think we should have included on the list, please feel free to let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video. That should be all for now. See you next time. Goodbye.